Now for this question, we're asked to solve this differential equation. x minus 1 times 3x plus 2 dy dx equals 5y, where x is greater than 1. We're also told that y equals 8 when x is 2. And we've got to give our answer in the form y equals some function of x. Now to do questions like this, what we need to do is separate the variables. That is, get all the x's on one side and all the y's on the other. And so what we do is we divide both sides by y and by x minus 1, 3 x plus 2, and rearrange the dy by dx. So you should find you get 1 over y dy equals 5 over the x minus 1, 3 x plus 2. Let's just put that in, x minus 1, 3x plus 2, and then dx there. And what we need to do is integrate both sides. So you can see I've now separated the variables. I've got all the y's on one side and all the x's on the other side. What we need to do now is just integrate each of these. Now the integral of 1 over y is going to be the natural log of y. So we just put natural log of y. And we should really put that in a mod sign. Now when it comes to integrating 5 over x minus 1, 3x plus 2, we actually did this in the previous part of the question. And the answer to that was the natural log of the mod of x minus 1 over 3x plus 2. Now, we're going to get a constant of integration from each of these two integrals, one here and one over here. And in the usual way, we only need to put the constant in on one side, because if I took this constant away from this constant that came from this integral, combining those two constants together would give me another constant. And I'll call it, say, c. Now, when you've got something like this with natural logs, it's quite a good idea to see if you can get all three terms as natural logs. It simplifies the problem immensely. If you don't do this, then I'll run through how you could do it at the end, okay, in an alternative form. But what I'm going to do is change this constant here to another constant. Just let's say, a natural log constant. So what we end up with is the natural log of the mod of y equals the natural log of the mod of x minus 1 over 3x plus 2, put the mod down there, plus another natural log, natural log of, say, a constant a. Now, when I've got this, I can just group these two together and I would have the natural log of the mod of y equals, and because I've got a log plus another log, we can use the multiplication rule, which means that we get the natural log of a constant, let's say then the a, multiplied by the mod of x minus 1 over 3x plus 2. Now I've got two terms with natural logs on, I can anti-log this. In other words, remove the natural logs. And I get y equals the constant a over, well, a multiplied by x minus 1 over 3x plus 2. And all I need to do now is just work out what that constant is. And I can do that with my boundary conditions here. If I come down here, you can see that when x is 2, y equals 8. So if we just mention that here, when x equals 2, y equals 8. So what we've got is therefore, for y we've got 8 equals a multiplied by, well, x minus 1, that would be 2 minus 1, which is 1, over and putting x is 2 in the denominator here, we've got 3 2's are 6, plus 2 is 8. So we've got 1 8th a. So if I multiply both sides by 8, it follows that a 
must be equal to 64. So I can finish now by saying that therefore y equals a which is 64 multiplied by x minus 1 all divided by 3x plus 2. Okay so that's y given as a function of x. Now I did say that we didn't have to go through this process finding writing this constant I should say as a natural log. Now you could just work with the c and I'll show you what happens if you do that version. So when I put x equals 2 y equals 8 into this line here I get the natural log of 8 I don't even need a mod sign around it because it's a positive value equals and if we put the 2 x equals 2 into here you're going to get 2 minus 1 which is 1 over 3 twos of 6 plus 2 which is 8 the natural log of 1 eighth and again I don't need to even put mods around that because that's a positive value plus the constant of integration c so you can see that to get c all I need to do is take away the natural log of 1 8 from both sides so you get c equals the natural log of 8 minus the natural log of 1 8 and when I subtract two logs it's the same as dividing so I get c equals the natural log of 8 divided by 1 8 and 8 divided by 1 8 is 64 so you end up with c equals the natural log of 64. So hopefully you can see where this is going. You can see that c then becomes the natural log of our a value a being 64. So I could just carry on by substituting this into here and basically doing exactly the same again as I did down through here. I'll end up with the same result, this one here. Alright, so I hope that's given you some idea how you can approach this problem.